Well, a community came together today to help the wife of murder victim Dan Muscarella by sprucing up the family's home. But what started out as a handful of neighbors helping a fellow neighbor has now turned into a community event. WLWT News 5's Richard Childs has our story. Is any miracle small? There's a miracle happening on Fruit Hill Lane. Busy hands are sawing and cutting and prying and scraping. They're raking leaves and hauling away trees. From a tragedy, neighbors and friends are building a triumph. Dan Massarella was killed during what police say was an ATM robbery. He left behind his wife, Lynn, and children. But friends and neighbors say his spirit lives on through them and the good work they are doing today. Dan was such a man of love and friendship, and we want to pay that forward as a community, as a church community, to show them what the impact was that Dan made not only on us as individuals, but on this entire community. To neighbors, this home renovation is just a labor of love. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for the light there. Making sure this house on Fruit Hill can still feel like a home. It, it's a way of, of taking care of his wife, who we, we love him, we love her, we love him. him through doing this and, and anything we can do to help. Overwhelmed by the love of this small army, Lynn Massarella knows her husband is here, still watching over her and the boys in their home. I didn't know how I was going to get it done. I knew it needed to get done. And just to have all these people come out and say, we want to be there for you, we want to help you through this time, has just been amazing. There are no such thing as small miracles. Just the miraculous in all of us and of neighbors lending a helping hand. What they've done for me is, is more than I can have ever imagined. In Anderson Township with Jason Sperry, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5. That is a real nice act of kindness for those folks. By the way, Jonah Israel has been charged in Dan Muscarella's death. He's still awaiting trial.